Welcome everyone. Thanks for checking out this video and tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to go ahead and do the monthly March reading. This is a general reading, so whatever the cards show is whatever is going to be most relevant to you at this time. Okay, so some readings may be about love, some may be focused more on finances or career, some on healing, whatever the cards show is the message that I that I read out to you guys. Okay, I ask that you please come into this with an open mind as this is a general reading. It may not apply to each and every one of you. If you would like a more in-depth personal reading, you can contact me. My email is in the description box below so we can go ahead and schedule that. Okay, if this message does not resonate with you, just simply check out one of my other ones or come back at a later date. If you do like this message and it resonates, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And please share my channel and this video with family and friends as there may be a message here for them as well. Okay, so this is the monthly March pick a card. So we have pile one, two, and three. Pick out whichever uh, pile you is most drawn to and the timestamps is in the description box below. Alright, so thank you guys for being here again and we're going to get started with pile number one. Okay, so for those of you who chose pile number one, your first message from the Daily Guidance Oracle deck is Cupid. We send great waves of love into your heart. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this, awake this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. Okay, so right off the bat, this is talking about love here. Okay, so Cupid may be coming in to strike some of you guys. Okay, now from the Robin Wood Tarot, you have the Four of Cups, the Star. The Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Okay. All right. So you have the Four of Cups. This can be your energy or the energy of whoever you're thinking of while you're watching this. Okay, the Four of Cups is representing being bored, being uh, discontent, not happy with what you have. Okay, but so focused on what you don't have and the things that you don't want that you might be missing an opportunity that is presenting itself. Okay, then you have the Star card here. So this can be a time for healing, okay? This can be a time for healing, a time to be hopeful, a time to be wishful. And we have the Page of Cups. So someone may be coming in with some news here. Someone may be coming in with an offer, an offer of love, because that's the cups there. And we have Cupid. Okay, then you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, she's cutting all ties, she's breaking all bonds, she's, she wants some truth. Okay, she's setting herself free from all bondage. And you have the Ace of Pentacles, this is a new beginning here, more practical matters. Okay, a new beginning here in your finances and material world. And this new beginning may be coming because someone is going to generously offer you something. Someone is giving you something. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles here. Someone giving you an opportunity, giving you this, this abundance that you seek. Then we have the Ten of Cups here. This is this wish fulfillment, this happy family. So whatever you were discontent with in the beginning, all your cups are now going to be full. 
There is going to be something worth celebrating. However, this could be a third party uh, situation, which is why maybe there was some discontent, some unhappiness, um, having to cut somebody out your life or the other person having to cut off their other options and make you a priority because this is weighing heavy on your mind. Okay, you want to come out of that energy here. So what I'm seeing here are two things in regards of love. Okay, this card was talking about Cupid. Okay, they're going to be sending in love to you, your heart, your mind. You want love. Okay, but there is a love situation here that has not been the best. Okay, someone ha may have been keeping their options open. It may have been um, some outside influences in the relationship, which is what has been weighing down heavy on you or on the other person. And has been making you um, want to cut ties and free yourself from certain things and focus a lot on your work, on your finances, on that stability. But there will be healing here. So whatever this situation is, you will heal from it. And then the, there will be a new offer. So whether this is a new offer from somebody new. Or if this is this person coming back to offer an apology to you. Okay, so that you guys can have a new start together. Okay, but you do have the Ten of Cups. This is what you want. Okay, you're at this energy now. The bored, the discontent, the unhappy. Okay, the unfulfilled energy. And the only ways that you are going to go is by cutting yourself free, cutting things out your life that no longer serve you, or the people that's not treating you right. And that's how you get to this energy right here, which is the wish fulfillment, the happiness. Okay, and the other way is here. You're going to heal. You need to heal. That's the only way you will be open to see the cup that this person is bringing to you. Whether it's a current partner, past partner, or somebody new altogether. See, the Page of Cups is, is coming in to bring in this cup that he's paying no mind to. Okay, so she's ready to give him the offer that he doesn't know that's coming because he's so focused, so upset. Because there's some things weighing heavy on his mind, heavy on his heart. Okay, so it's time to cut yourself free from all those thoughts. And all that negative energy. As well as cutting people out your life, life who really, you know, they, they're no longer serving a purpose. It's either they're going to change, they're going to do right, or they're not. And it's up to you to see whether or not you're going to allow them in, to, to remain in your life. Or you're going to tell them they need to go. Okay, but aside from the love here. You have a new beginning and it's not just a new beginning in love. This is a new beginning in your finances. So this may give you that extra little oomph as well. Okay. You may have been feeling like so many things were weighing down on you. But someone is coming in with some generosity here to give you this ace of pentacles. Someone is wanting to share with you to give you a blessing to give you some abundance here. Okay. Someone's get willing to give you a helping hand. Okay, now from the energy oracle, your message is the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Okay, and the third chakra, don't check out my chakra video, but the third chakra is represented by this yellow color. Okay, some blockages could be low self esteem, feeling powerless. Okay. And that's here, that's this energy right here. You ha you're not, you're feeling powerless, you're feeling discontent, you're feeling bored, you're unsatisfied. Okay, but you want to come in to this energy here. Someone who's confident, who feels in control, who has personal power. Okay, because she, she's not holding back. The Queen of Swords, she's in her power. She's ready to cut anything loose that's not going to serve her. OK, she's not she's she's confident in her own skin and she knows that she's going to make the right decision. She's thinking with her head and not with her heart. 
Okay, sometimes matters cause us to think with our heart and not our head. But other times, you know, we need to think with our head and not our heart. And that's the energy that you need to come in. Come into. Okay, then from the Wisdom Oracle here, we have Mending. The number 52. And that's that star card right here. That's that healing. Something is mending here. So that offer may be an apology. That person coming in. Okay, you're getting real stern with them and letting them know, you know, this is I'm not going to accept this. I'm not going to allow this any longer, you know, or whatever the case is, you're ready to cut it to cut that out your life because this is what you want at the end. You want to celebrate and rejoice. Okay, you want this rainbows, this family, the wish fulfillment, the completion. You want to be happy. Happy and in love and fulfilled. Which you are not currently feeling that right now. And this may be that person. Since that person may not be in tune with their emotions or may not know what other way to make things up to you. Or how to show you that they're sorry. Maybe this is them. Giving, giving you some type of financial gift. Some type of practical material gift. Okay, you have the mending here. There's going to be some healing in your relationships. Okay, and you need to heal. Because you need to come out of this energy, this mental conflict. Okay, you need to come out of that energy. Okay, now from the color cards. The secret of color card. The color that you guys should be working with this month is violet. Create a balanced life. The number 45. Yes, balance. Okay, don't, don't be so hung up on the things that are not working out. Things that didn't turn out in your favor. Okay, get your yourself out of this anxiety mentality. Okay, just focus on the goal. Okay, get your chakras aligned. Allow yourself time to heal. Okay, and if someone is willing to come forth and help you, give you a helping hand, give you a gift, make sure you're open, open to receiving. Okay, allow that balance in your life. Don't just allow people to take from you. Also allow people to give to you. Okay, you, you, this is a time for you to heal. That's how you can balance yourself out. Okay, balance. And then also make sure your chakras are balanced. Okay? So I hope this was a message that you guys needed to hear. If it was, give me a thumbs up, comment, and let me know how it's applying to your life. Share my channel with family and friends. There may be a message here for them as well. And until next time, blessings to you all. All right. For those of you who chose PAL 2, your first message from the Daily Guidance Oracle here is ask. Okay. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Ask. Okay, you can ask by praying. As you see, this is a little child angel praying. Okay, you just ask. Just ask for the help. You know, if you need to make a, a choice in something, ask. You're not sure what, what decision to make. If you're going in the right path, just ask. Simply ask and all will be revealed to you. Okay, we all have free will, like that said. So even with the law of attraction, we can make whatever choices we want to make. Okay, and the universe you can only have that, can only put in that divine intervention if we allow them. Okay, now from the Robin Wood Tarot, you have the Emperor, the King of Cups, and the Two of Wands. You have the Strength card, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, 
the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so there is a lot of people involved in this situation here. As there's a lot of masculine energy here. Okay, you have the King of Cups and you have the King of Wands as well as the Emperor. Okay, there has been some lies and some deceit from one of them. Um, yeah. The Emperor is this controlling energy. The King of Cups is someone who has gained control of their emotions. They're very loving, very romantic. Okay, and the King of Wands is someone who is just very passionate, motivated. Okay, they're, they're ready to go, go, go. I see a lot of sexual attraction here with this Ace of Wands. And that may be why there is so much masculine energy here. But there is a choice that you need to make and you're kind of conflicted. You're conflicted. You're conflicted because somehow these relationships and making these choices, you're feeling like you may lose some money. It has an impact on your finances. And your goal is to have this happy family, this financial prosperity, to have it all. That's what you want. So you're trying to remain strong. You're trying to remain in your strength. But you're not sure. You're conflicted. Okay. You're not sure which way to go. And that may be, like I said, when I started the video, after reading the ask card, there may be a decision that you guys need to make and you're not sure which way to go and you need to ask. Because this is you. You're weighing, you're stuck between two things. You have the world in your hands, yet you don't know which way to go. You have the world in your hands. Okay, you have all these options here, these three options, and you don't know which one to choose. Okay, do you want to be in control? Do you want to follow your heart? Or do you want this passion? Okay, there, there's, there's different, you know, do you want structure, this emperor energy where everything is structured? Dress right, dress. You know, this is the way it needs to be. This is the plan. We're sticking to the plan. You know, this controlling energy where everything is, you know, marked out. T's are crossed. I's are dotted. Do you want this emotional energy where someone is loving and compassionate and in touch with their romantic feelings? Or do you want this passion this sexual passion, this sexual attraction, um, this desire, this motivation to, you know, always strive for more. And you're stuck because there has been some deceit. Someone is not being completely honest with you. Someone has lied about something. Someone has been keeping some things in the dark. And this may be you. This may be you. Since you have these three options, they may not know. That there are option. Okay. And this doesn't have to be. If this is a male watching this. This does not have to be ma just male energy. The energies can always be reversed. Okay. But you have three options here. And you're not sure which one to go. Wh which one to choose. Which way to go. So you need to stay in your strength. And you need to make a decision. And once you make a decision, that's your new beginning here, okay? Your wishes will be fulfilled. You will have this happy ending, but only when you make a decision. If you don't make a decision, you're going to stay here in this stagnant energy. You're going to stay here in this stuck energy, just holding on to all these, all these options that's just what you're doing right now. You don't want to cut anybody out. You don't want to let anybody go. But you need to. You need to. Because you're not being true to yourself. You're not being true to them. And if they, if it was them not being honest with you, then maybe they may deserve it. But you need to be in this strength energy, okay? Maybe this person is a Leo, Okay, because that's the major arcana for Leo here. So 
maybe that's the right answer here. That's the that's the person. Whichever person here is a Leo, that may be the option that's best for you. Because you have the King of Wands here and you have the Ace of Wands here. So that may be the direction for your new beginning. Okay, you need to be in this strength and loyal energy. Okay, lions are very loyal. They're loyal. And they're also they also like to be treated like royalty. Okay, they're very committed, and that's what you want. You want this commitment, you want this, you know, this stableness, you want this stability, this fulfillment here. Okay. But you need to make a choice. And if you're unsure, then just ask. Okay? Ask for the things to be revealed to you. Ask the angels and your guardians and spirits and stuff to help you make the right decision. Ask them to, you know, show you everyone's true color so that you can know that you're making the right decision. If you cannot cut them out your life, then ask for them to be cut out for you. Okay, the universe will work in mysterious ways. Now from the energy oracle, you have adjacent possibilities. Yeah, that's all these options here. You got three options to choose from. You got three strong energies here. You have the emperor, the king of cups, and the king of wands. So these are all very high level people, confident in themselves, master of themselves. But you are the one that is conflicted. So it's no right or wrong answer. You just need to make one. Or else you're just holding off your own blessings. Okay, and then with the Wisdom Oracle here, you have the number 17, the Fates. Okay, so you're fated to be with somebody. But fate is only going to kick in and give you this fulfillment and this new beginning here. Okay, the new beginning here with the Ace of Wands, but the happy ending that you're looking for, you know, what you want. It's in the cards for you. It is possible, but you need to make this decision. You need to make this decision. Okay, you need to find out the deceit. Okay, expose whatever things are hidden. So gather your information and make the best choice that you can. All right, now from the secret language of color deck, the color you should be working with this month is plum. Overcome your challenges, the number 41. Yeah, overcome your challenges. You need to make a decision here. And that's been challenging for you. It's been challenging for you because you're stuck. You're not sure who to pick. You're not sure if it's the right answer the right choice so you're allowing yourself to stay in this stuck energy you're holding on you're holding on to too much but sometimes you need to let go of something so that you can fully enjoy something else okay you're holding on you're juggling too too much stuff okay you, you got your hands full here and you need your hands open so that you can really indulge and embrace and experience all that's being presented to you. Okay, so overcome these challenges. Overcome the challenges by making a choice. If you're unsure what choice to make, just simply ask. Pray on it. Meditate on it. You know, whatever you believe. Okay, but make a choice. And that's the only way that the blessings are going to start coming in. If you don't, if you don't make a choice, eventually one will be made for you. Okay, there always will be something made for you if you cannot make it yourself. But the quicker you make the choice, the quicker your blessings can come in. Okay, group number two. So I hope this was a message that you guys needed to hear. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. Share my channel with family and friends because there may be a message here for them as well. And until next time, blessings to you all. All right, for those of you who chose group number three, your message here from the daily guidance is fresh air. 
Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Earth, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. Air. Okay, fresh air. That's what you need to gain some clarity, to just reset and refresh. Okay, now from the Robin Wood Tarot. No, yeah, you got the devil here. The nine of pentacles. The five of swords. The nine of wands. The four of swords. The temperance. The six of swords. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Yes, yeah, so this is a very heavy time for you guys. Okay, there is a this is a very heavy time for you guys. You guys are dealing with some real heavy, heavy burdens and some stuff. Okay, you guys can be dealing with some addiction, some codependency here. Okay. Um Dealing with a lot of temptation. Okay, you're trying to focus on your work. You're trying to focus on that, but, you know, it's a, it's like a, a lost cause is how you feel. Okay, you're feeling wounded, wounded and battered, bruised and battered. Your mind is not there. You don't know what to do. Everything's weighing heavy on your mind. Okay, but just be patient. Things are going to get balanced out. Things are going to work out. Okay, you're going to be moving into calmer water soon. Okay, after you make a decision. Because right now you're juggling you're juggling a lot of things. You need to cut out some of these burdens here. Then you can step into this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, or the Queen of Wands may be some the person that you're dealing with that is making you feel this way. And the way for you to be able to make a decision and know the best move to make or to gain that confidence to make the decision and move to calmer waters to move out of the situation that's no longer serving you the situation that's weighing so heavy on you is by going out and getting some fresh air okay go out okay she's outside in her garden okay she's outside in her garden tending to her garden enjoying seeing the fruits of her labor Okay, you need to take this time to just really reflect on the inside. Okay, clear your mind, gain some mental clarity, and make a decision. Okay, you need to make a decision. You need to choose what it is that you want. And once you can let go of some stuff and only take what you need, the bare necessities, and just keep and move on to a better, a better area, higher waters, calmer waters, you know, just move on then that's when things will start panning out for you here okay healing is coming you just need to be patient things are not going to go according to your timeline you may be dealing with somebody that is a fire sign okay leo sagittarius and airy or aries Okay, or maybe a strong f uh, feminine energy here. Okay, everybody has masculine and fem feminine energy. Okay, but this is someone wanting to take charge. This is someone wanting movement, not remaining in this stagnant um, position here. Okay, there's something that's unhealthy 
that's been going on. And you need to cut that out. You need to cut it out or you need to cut the person out who has been dealing with it. You're trying to fix their problems and you need it's time to focus on you. Okay. Now with the energy oracle, you have attachment, the number five. Yeah, so this is a codependency issue. This is being attached to somebody, holding on to somebody who you know is not healthy for you. A situation that you know is not healthy for you. That has been way, leaving you beaten and bruising. Not, you know, in the literal sense. Okay, of course, if you guys are, if you listening to this are in an abusive relationship, then you know you need to get out. Okay, but this is leaving your mind battered, your heart battered. You feel defeated. Okay, you're letting them win. Okay, this is you walking away. This is not you winning. This is you walking away. But they just won the little battle. They didn't necessarily win the war. It's not over and done. This is just a little, a petty win. Okay, but you are attached to something and you need to let it go. You need to cut it out. You're conflicted, but you need to step into this energy where you're ready to be confident. You're ready to do what you need to do and move forward. Okay, now the Wisdom Oracle, you have a change in the wind. Yes, once you cut this, this out, okay, it's coming with the temperance here. Okay, a change is coming. Okay, you just have to be patient. Okay, divine timing is in order here. But you need to make a decision here. Once you make that decision, this is the change in your wind. You're moving on. You're moving on... You know, see the shadow here? It's just a shadow. You're leaving all that negativity behind. You're moving on to more peace, to peace, to happiness. You're leaving all that negativity behind. Okay, you're ready to regain your passion. Ready to move forward and follow your dreams and your desires, your heart. Okay, you're ready to step into this energy here. All right, for this month, from the secret language of color card, the color you should be working with is red. Free yourself from pain, the number two. Yes, what was that telling you? You need to let this go. Okay, you need to, you need to let this situation go or you need to let this person go. You need to free yourself from this pain. You're only feeling this pain because you're allowing yourself. Okay, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that we're allowing bad things to happen to us. But you know better. Okay? And if not after re after hearing this video, you know this is an unhealthy situation and it's only going to continue to wreak havoc in your life if you do not do something about it. Stop juggling it and just make your choice. Detach from this. Okay? You can free yourself. Okay, you see her here? She's tied up to this to this post here. She's chained. And then she has this mask in her hand. She's taken off the mask, but now she also needs to free herself. You need to come to a realization. Okay? Stop hiding behind a mask or stop putting on the mask and pretending like everything is okay when you know it is not. You need to free yourself from this pain. You need to make your decision, let go of this burden so you can come out of this battered and bruised energy, all that mental conflict. You want to come into the energy where you're happy again, you're passionate, you're ready to make moves, you're ready to be out there. Okay, and if you're not sure, just go out, get some fresh air, sit under a tree, go for a walk, sit by a lake, you know. Sit on your patio, sit in your car with the windows down somewhere, like just get some fresh air. Okay, get some, get a different, to help you get a different perspective, some clarity. All right, group number three, I hope you make the decision that you need to, to bring in all the blessings into your life. If this message resonated with you, I know this wasn't the most positive message, but I have to keep it real. 
Okay, but if this did resonate with you, I hope that this does give you the guidance that you need and the motivation, the little push that you need to get things going so that you can step in to the happy energy that you so deserve. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. Let me know how this is playing out in your life. And until next time, blessings to you all.